Are you serious? Are you serious? The road is melting. The road is melting. It's melting down. What? Yellowstone National Park. I want to thank Michelle Davis. I want to thank Robo Mom and others. That is a picture. Yellowstone National Park. The road is melting. And it's not just this one spot right here. It's happening in several places leading in and out of Yellowstone, especially near the geysers. Now, let me tell you what's going on. Several popular attractions at the Yellowstone National Park are temporarily off limits because of a melting road. Well, hold it a minute. What? You might say, Paul, it's because the sun might have got a little warm. No, 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 no. We're talking about here, we have a malted, a malting pressure and heat. And there's a super duper, I mean, mega super volcano under Yellowstone National Park. That's been identified. The thing's 55 miles in diameter. Are you serious? It is huge. It is cataclysmic nature if it was to erupt. I mean, it is apocalyptic by far. It is more than just um, a problem. Well, extreme heat from the surrounding thermal areas have created a hot spot that has melted the asphalt on Fire Hole Lake Drive, about 3.3 mile loop that takes tourists past the Great Fountain Geysers and the White Dome Geyser and the Fire Hole Lake. Now, as park officials examine the possible fixes, what do you mean fixes? I mean, you can fix the road, you can, you know, but it's just going to melt right back. You can't fix the super volcano. What? While they're trying to figure out a way to fix the problem, um, they, they warn visitors not to hike into this affected area where the danger of stepping through solid-looking soil into a boiling hot water is high. In other words, you could be walking on the ground what looks like solid earth and actually... Step into boiling water. Are you serious? Now, there are plenty of other great places to see. <laughs> Don't go over here. You know, we got plenty of other nice things you can see here at Yellowstone. Keep coming, but just stay away from the main attractions because the volcano is boiling over. And Yellowstone spokesman Al Nash... I wouldn't risk personal injury to see these during this temporary closure. What temporary closure? Folks, it's six months ago, the, the, the bison were seen running out by the herds. The buffalo. Oh, build me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope run away. I mean, are you serious? And so, naturally, changing thermal features often damage Yellowstone's roads and boardwalks. Really? Really? S steaming potholes in the asphalt roads, parking lots marked off by traffic cones are fairly common. Really? Are you serious? I mean, what? However... The damage of the fire hole lake drive is unusually, there you go, severe. It could take several days. Days? Folks, this thing is starting to get very, very precarious. Earthquakes, rumbling, seismic activity up around Idaho, Washington State, Colorado, all the surrounding areas from this super duper volcano, Yellowstone. It's something biblical's going on. And guess what? This ain't harp. This isn't man-made. Once again, the creator is showing us. Did you know the Bible says the earth is going to melt with a fervent heat? Even the elements are going to burn up. 
You see, it rained water on the earth in Noah's day, but it's going to be consumed by fire in the end time of the wrath of God. I don't want to be anywhere near this planet when God's wrath is poured out, and I don't plan on it because we've accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior and we're ready, ready for him to come and gather the bride. Are you, are you saved? Are you saved? Wow. 